damn, the city. This t-shirt is dropping next Thursday. Right, Australia is known for its coffee culture and uh, how good it is, so we're just gonna head out and find brekkie and coffee. No, that's not, how, did, how would they say it? This is what cheese feels like when it's in a cheese grater. It's slightly more shredded. <laughs> <laughs> They wear coats in this weather. Crazy people. 21 degrees. We're currently in Australian winter. I burned last night. You're joking or what? Ooh, it's so edgy. <laughs> There's actually a spider. Don't do that to me. You see it? It's like a Madagascar where it like just like goes down like this and it's like, well how to do. And everyone's like, well how to do. Wow! <laughs> Our first Aussie coffee. This was in this was in this was in uh this was was in This was within 50 meters of the hotel. It's a very nice cup, actually. Very satisfying. First breakfast of the trip. Iconic coffee hit us with the Asian fusion. Bulgogi beef, pickled cucumber, lettuce, tomato, wasabi, mayo. I'm putting it in my top 10 burgers. Bulgogi comes from Korea. It's thinly sliced grilled steak, marinated in sweet soy, sesame, and garlic. <whistles> Not your typical breakfast, but damn, it was good. A lovely jubbly that. Off for number two. Just, just doing a coffee tour Even though that was incredible, I just want to try somewhere else. That's iconic, you can see that white sign. Less than 50 meters down the road, Frankie and George coffee bar. You can get an iced white chocolate mocha. Got myself a cold brew, and then Jazz and I got the French toast made with fresh donuts to share. Berry compote, maple syrup, and vanilla bean ice cream. Hit the spot. Perfect. Ice cream for breakfast because we're adults. Mm. <laughs> that just reminded me of the thing, you know, when it's like, <clears throat> when I have kids, I have to tell them that getting a puppy on the way home and having ice cream for breakfast is a bad idea. You know what I mean? I don't know how I'm going to be able to do that. I'm going to be like, that's a great idea. Jazz, we got another puppy and we had ice cream for breakfast and we're full of sugar. And now we need to be mad about it. <laughs> this is a classic. I know this in ages. Oh yeah, feels good the sun, doesn't it? Mm. Feels good the sun. Mm. Anyway, speaking of kids and talking about missing puppies, we're going to go see some people with kids and puppies. And we need a car. Spot our one. Oh, that has yeah. Torium Pro on it. Thank you, Torium Pro, for sorting us out a car. Can't wait to be blasting Lewis Capaldi in it. His new song's a banger, though, isn't it? I'll annoy Jazz with how many times I listen to it in this one trip. Ooh. Yes, 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 more, more. Cause I'm not ready. <laughs> so for the first little Australian adventure, we headed down the coast, past the Gold Coast surface paradise, down to Palm Beach. And what a little beautiful spot it was. That's a lovely neighbourhood. This. Beautiful. It's a real Australia. There's a koala sign. There's a koala sign. Slow down, koalas. Don't you worry, I'll slow down for them. It's a very CrossFit garage, isn't it? Wonder who lives here. I'm trying to you running into everything. Do you been to a party? Yeah, yeah, we were like, we were like, you can't um, 
Like, we can't eat any more candy until our friends get here. And I'm like, maybe then you can share it. <laughs> Your rig's ready. <laughs> it's about my height. In again. fairness, I could put it up here and still be like. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably my weight bar. I think Jazz well. wants to put the bikes out here too, just in case. Koala watch, isn't it? Oh yeah, apparently they get koalas in the garden sometimes. So I'm definitely on koala watch. <laughs> just keep, just keep looking. <laughs> <laughs> and it plays. I like to move, move, move. Yeah. <laughs> At least it wakes and then up. she like gets going. I'm like, it's too early. It's too early for Madagascar. Country music. In Australia, they do it too. Yes, yeah. yes, of course. I feel like I'm at home. My favourite song to listen to on the way to the box. What? The shiny song off Moana. That the, the crab yep, sings. Yep, yep. I just want to be shiny. Yeah, a rock star is a rocking star. We, like, we started this list of... Well, I started the list. Of all the things that she says cuter than what it's meant to be. Yeah. So I was like, a rock star is a rockin' star. She goes, <laughs> Valentine's Day is Lovin' Times Day, which makes Aww. so much more sense. Because it is. And what's the other one that she was saying? It'll be on my list, I have to find it. It's actually what I asked for for Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> for Christmas Absolute like, life changer. I, I actually really want a leaf blower. <laughs> Well, we upgraded from like the small one to like the high powered one. It was oh, like, man. oh, I get the driveway done so much quicker. <laughs> Time is money. It's an age thing. If you're under 30, you probably won't realize it. But when, when you get to 30, a leaf blower. She hurt herself, but she's trying to play it. I don't think the seat is. I think you need to lower the seat. She's like, no, we do standing. We do standing yeah. bike. Yeah. Imon time. Fitness. <laughs> Alright, Road to CrossFit Games as the spectator starts now. Now, coming off the flight, um, I don't like to weight lift like the day after. Usually I'm super dehydrated, even if I drink a lot of water on the flight, and I'm usually super stiff. I just want to start moving. So uh, this was perfect. 24 minute EMOM, 16 cal bike erg minute one, 20 push-ups minute two, 15 cal row minute three, 10 strict pull-ups minute four, six rounds, aerobic bits getting the blood flowing, the strength bits getting a pump, Outside in the fresh Australian air, can't complain one bit. Also, Scotty was uh, an amazing training partner and chalk giver. Three, two, one. This looks inviting. Has a uh, swim uh, thing here. Yeah, I know. Like, so you can swim against it. Yeah, yeah, it's like you get kind of nauseous. Oh, yesterday when we were on the plane, when I, when I came off, we were sat at dinner and I was like, what? Yeah. When you're yeah. like up and down. Whoa. Yeah, it's like you've been in like an elevator or something. Did you just put the filter on? This is like, you know what you call it? Yeah. <laughs> a consistent pace so like a I could out sprint it you know what I mean like you can out sprint the jets on their fastest but like like she would you wouldn't put a kid in there yeah. you know but you I'd say you could go at a pretty you do like a longer stroke so a shorter stroke route with a stronger pull rather than like a fast what's the longest you've ever been in there on this like jet just, yeah just swimming the only time oh only a couple of minutes I reckon and then I've just done like a like an on off thing you know like do yeah. a bit have a break like you could do an imam like it'd be perfect for an imam yeah. especially with these chairs just training to be a sloth is all yeah i look so dirty now oh, i feel like we've not moved in a few days you have a white roof as well i've never yeah. seen a white roof yeah we did that we'll see we... what's here yeah reflect the heat in it good yeah black roofs reflect heat yeah yeah so. so in some parts i think it's more like in new south wales they actually put a ban on in some areas on having a black roof because they'll use too much power because it makes it so hot oh, yeah. hey, Google. turn the music off yeah yeah google <laughs> what happened where's it going we've got more stickers oh wow uh, this one's going to be pretty. very limited edition. Uh, this weekend at Torian, if you come into Torian, the We Don't Quit t-shirt in black. 
The oversized one will be there and the green, which is the limited edition colour for Australia and only available in Australia. So head over to only Active. Only available there. When you come to Torian. This one may be available if Scotty wants to make it for you. <laughs> I think I'm a bit jealous. Look how pretty that is. Damn. Do, wait, oh, do I look cool? Isn't it such a nice pattern oh, as yeah, well? Yeah, 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 yeah. That is very neat. The head nod. She was like, yeah, you look cool. <laughs> She's like, yeah, it looks good. Now I've got to go to the beach like this. <laughs> Did you say tacos on the beach? Yeah. Pretty much Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> I'm down. Sounds perfect to me. It's a place called Palm Beach. Maybe there'll be some palms. Like our garden. Yeah. <laughs> Costa del Darby. Like <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm allergic to a beautiful sunset. Look at that. Oh, let it in. Oh, that is a, such a beautiful sunset. It's like that emotional rainbow video. Oh my God. It's a beautiful sunset. Oh yes. On that so road. one of these, so this house here could be worth like 15 mil. On the Should we knock on a door off from five <laughs> so quid? You'll, you'll see like some of these houses, they're like just little crappy ones you'll see walking along. Some of them are sold like for nine or ten million dollars right, just for the block of land. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to see why in, in any any second. Uh, yeah, you are. Yeah. It's pretty epic. Well, like these are so there's an apartment. There's a new apartment block, see just that one getting built down there yeah. with the scaffolding and they start at three mil and they're not on the water. And they're on that road. And you and haven't even come out in shoes. Nah. No, no I wear me. shoes. <laughs> we're, so, we're, so, we're so British. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to get a really good little pink sky, I reckon. Leave your shoes like on the side. Oh the yeah, that's my, that's my feet in some Australian sand for the first time this trip. Feels. Hold on. Good day, mate. Yeah. This is beautiful, look at this. The city, it's just over there. Absolutely horrible. D don't know how you could live here. It's hard. <laughs> Someone's got to do it. Someone's got to do it. <laughs> this sand is like golden and it sounds like halloumi. <laughs> it sounds like halloumi. It does. <laughs> Being on the sand makes me want to do a cartwheel. You can do a cartwheel. No, because I feel like my dad's saying that. Ooh, there we go, that was a good cartwheel. Oh, there's a collie. That's Hi, nice. puppy. Hi, puppy. Look. Oh, it's a shell. Oh, whoa. Be careful of the sharks. Whoa, funny, funny. There's two people over there just eating pizza on a beach. Yeah. Now that is a date. So your, your dream date now is just strength, a bit of cardio. And then some, and a bit of accessories. And then I like rotate. I try and go like, okay, I've done a bit of like lower body. I do a bit of upper body. I do a bit of like, you know, just move, move it around. But then like this week I've just been like, all right, super busy. I need to take this like head space out of it and just move. And that's what I was saying. Like we do that 20 minute EMOM or 24 minute EMOM. And I'm like, oh, why don't I just not like, I don't need to warm up for that, I can just get going, but to rewire that, to go like, oh, you can just go in and start an EMOM, and that's enough, and it's still better than nothing. It's just like really hard for me coming out of a competition brain. Yeah. You know, like it's just... You would say you're training like four four times a week? Maybe four times a week, yeah. And They're, for health rather than... For health rather than anything else, like I, health of me, obviously I feel better when I'm pregnant and moving, like you feel really just like tight and lethargic and... Exercise is good and I believe in it. So that's why I like keep showing up and it's really good for a baby. But like, especially compared to last time, the movements and the kind of workouts are so different. I keep everything really, really simple. Like just, you know, dumbbells, bike, bike, ski, like just- And then you're focusing more on the business. And focus more on the business, yeah. I never picked up that No. Never gets it right. No. It's definitely a little bit more like red. Better in person than yeah. it is. Team, you've got to come visit basically. Yeah. There's your uh, tourism Queensland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tourism Queensland. <laughs> uh, you won't be disappointed. You're welcome, Tourism Queensland. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you know what we do is like, so down the other entrance of Palm Beaches. Been to the beach once, we've now turned into Australians. Look at yeah. us. <laughs> what shoes? 
Any shoes on Yeah, no. G'day, mate. You gonna turn up to Tori and Pro with no shoes on? Yeah. <laughs> This place looks amazing. Yeah, last time we saw you in Australia, I was pregnant with Scotty. And now I'm pregnant with this one. Remember the lady came to the gym while I was early days pregnant? <laughs> Throwbacks, eh? Look at us. We haven't aged a bit. Also, look how wet this is. And that makes a good taco when you bite and water comes out the other end, look. Australia is a food and coffee experience. With beach, sun, warmth thrown in. What were we doing in England, eh? We sent prisoners here. We should have left them in England and come in. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Who came up with that? It's amazing. Wow. Costa Tacos, this place was buzzing. And you know it's gonna be good food when they've got a very limited menu. There was like five, six things up on the wall and a couple more in the actual table menu. But like, they just did them well. I had one of the pork, one of the beef, one of the chicken tacos, and each one of them was on level par with the ones that I had in Mexico. And that's a big statement. The sweet corn was incredible, something I thought I'd never say. And then we had beef nachos, but I love the amount of like sauces you got. It wasn't too much, it wasn't too little, it wasn't overloaded with cheese. The balance was just spot on. I mean, one thing they do super well in Australia is food. And this is only day one. I can't wait for like the rest of the food experience that we're gonna have here. As you can tell with my voice, I got excited there. I feel like I'm drooling a little bit whilst making this commentary, watching it back. I realized when walking with no shoes on, not the most stylish. <laughs> I've got sensitive feet. <laughs> I feel it, I'm just not being as dramatic about it. I'm oh, I'm here, to, I'm here to bring the drama. <laughs> just wait so it turns green. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to go get some gelato. They might as well be blooming um, real estate, you know? Look at that beautiful million pound house, can't afford it. But it's got a great taco place and the best gelato in the world apparently, according to... Oh, whoa, 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 no, 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 not worldwide. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> for, the, for the drama of the vlog. <laughs> run, Craig, run. <laughs> like, I'm not making that claim, people are gonna come at me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not that worldly to really comment. Craig, it's, it's flashing, you're gonna have Hashtag to Hashtag Queensland Australia Tourism. I would, say, <laughs> I would say it's the best vegan gelato that I've had. Oh. Would you make that call? Would you make that call? The best vegan gelato? Oh, I don't know. I'd have to think about it. I want all of them. That looks pretty, doesn't it? <laughs> For a great day, Thank I'll you. try and make it to the toilet. <laughs> in the in the higher car. Yeah. There's a toilet down the road, and I really need a wee. Small bladder problems. Jazz is like a camel. She can hold <laughs> her wee for days. I am like an unblown up balloon. You're like you're like a dog. Yes. Like dogs pee all the time. They pee like every two steps. I'm like marking my territory. Yeah, literally. Everywhere I go. Literally. Whereas I, survival of the fittest, people think you have to be fit and strong. No, if we're in a desert, I'm the one that's surviving at this point. Yes, and I'll be dehydrated and pissed all over the desert. <laughs> but at least I've marked my territory on the desert. <laughs> literally. That was a great day. What a fun day. That was really fun. I really enjoyed that. Where's the seat heaters? Do they have seat heaters in Australia? <sighs> Ah, made it back and I'm just having flashbacks to last night when Jazz was eating a crunchy whilst I was trying to do a commentary like this. I speak to it like this. I say, hello team, welcome to the vlog. And Jazz in the background. <laughs> a crunchy is true to its name. Also, these new AirPods, you genuinely cannot hear anything. They are noise cancelling. True to, like, I can't hear And look, she's putting them in because she's sick of me. Right, see you in the next one. See you later, legends. Day one in Australia done. Day two, we're gonna go see someone else. Right, He's massive. <laughs> what do you say? I said, so the crisps are a no. No? I'll pick a softer snack. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I have plenty.